let's do it all over again. Welcome back inside the Scotiabank Saddle Dome and welcome to Flames TV Live, brought to you by Budweiser. We'll get you set for round number two between the Vancouver Canucks and the Calgary Flames. But first, I want to remind you about the Saddle Dome Live app. During all Calgary Flames home games this season, you'll be able to have the chance to participate in Flames interactive games right from the comfort of your own home. And uh, they can do so through the Saddle Dome Live app. Make sure you open it up. Check in in the fan game section and play along tonight and all season long for a chance to win great prizes delivered by Skip the Dishes simply by checking in with us. And right up until puck drop tonight, you can play along with the Calgary Flames score four predictive game. Correctly predict four scenarios tonight and have your chance to win a Calgary Flames jersey. Once again, that game is now live, but only up until puck drops. Uh, check out the Saddle Dome Live fan game section for your chance to win. Before we get to the matchup tonight, let's take a look back on the home opener. 3-0 win over Vancouver. Monaghan trying to get it set up now. It works the puck all the way across to Elias Lindholm. Lindholm down low. Monaghan scores! And it's set up by Kachuk. Sean Monaghan on the power play. And it's a 1-0. Good out of walks it across the line. Just outside. Here's back on the power play. Giapani puts it over to Dube with the shot, scores! Dylan Dube, most top corner on the power play, and it's 2 0 Calgary. Set up on the far half wall. Dubre, top of the circle with a shot. Rebounding, the score! Kachuk put it in. On the far side of that, and in for Matthew Kachuk. It's another power play goal, and a 3 0 Calgary lead. Jacob Markstrom's first win as a Calgary Flame is a 32 save shutout against his former team as the Flames knock off Vancouver 3-0. Well, that had to feel good for a few players as uh, members of the Calgary Flames uh, getting a victory in their first meeting against their former club. Jacob Markstrom, Chris Tanev, and Josh Levo and uh, Mayan Markstrom and uh, Tanev specifically sensational with the shutout for Markstrom, Tanev with eight blocks. More on those guys in just a moment. But first, let's talk about the matchup. Back-to-back -back games against the same team in the same building. And uh, of course, something completely different that we'll see this season in the National Hockey League. But uh, it's new, but we will get used to it, see it through a lot of this 56-game schedule. Of course, it was that 3-0 victory for the Calgary Flames on Saturday night. But now it's all about turning the page, understanding that it's expected that you'll see a much more improved and a lot better Vancouver Canucks team for the Calgary Flames. Well, yeah, I think it's it's a lot different. I think um, it, it feels almost like we were talking about it yesterday. It feels almost like a, a playoff atmosphere where you know after you know we got game one there, Game two, you know you're going to get their best. They're going to have that desperation. So you sort of prepare for it that way. I mean, um, it's nice going over video clips of the, the team you played. It's it's still fresh, and you can see their tendencies. But um, the one thing we're aware of is uh, you're going to have a desperate team uh, coming in here tonight and a team playing real exceptionally hard, so we got to match that. Uh, we expect... Uh... Um, them to come out with uh, a lot of jump, not being happy with the result uh, with the result last night. And I mean, it's up to us to uh, to not uh, think about that win for too long. We've already turned the page, and I think that's uh, gotten us in some some trouble the past couple of years. Is maybe after whether it's a win or loss, we tend to um, I'm, I'm guilty of being probably overly emotional both ways as well. Where uh, you know it's a little bit harder to turn the page, but I think this year as a as a group the shortened schedule we have to turn the page we have to we have no choice yeah for me you know the nhl is a pretty unique um league in that you play almost every other night most times and now when you're playing teams multiple times in a row um it just becomes all that much more important to flush that first game whether you won and played well or you lost and played not well it's uh, it's a matter of just getting ready for the next game uh like g said it's similar to a playoff series where you just kind of flush that first game or whatever it is and and it's a brand new fresh slate for the next game so it's i think the teams that'll have the most success will be the best at being able to do that but i think right now being this early in the season i think you know every team's just more concerned about getting their own game in order first um and once everybody's game's in order then i think maybe adjustments play into it a little bit more but you know will you know will vancouver make some will we make some uh, you know probably uh, but we'll have to see how the game goes and, and what's going on in the hockey game but uh 
I would say for us, you know, I, I know our mindset right now is, you know, we're just trying to be consistent with respect to uh, the type of game we're putting on the ice every night. Well, you saw it in the highlights off the top, and that is a red-hot power play for the Calgary Flames to start the season. One goal in the first game, and then all three of the markers coming with the man advantage in the home opener on Saturday night. And in fact, both power play units getting involved. Now four for nine through the first two games, to, uh, clicking at just over 44%. And uh, understanding that while there's still some work to do on it, happy with the start they've had so far on the man advantage. You know, the units are intact from last year pretty much. Um, so I uh, guys know uh, each other pretty well uh, in each units. And uh, we feel comfortable playing with each other. And I feel like we've been really direct so far. And I think that's been, a big key to our success. Um, we're just going out there. We're just playing, finding the open guy, making the plays, not dusting it off. See an open guy, pass it. You got a shot, shoot it, get guys to the net, and uh, try to score that way. But uh, you know, we, have, we honestly haven't really worked on it too much since camp started. We've been, uh, um, we were, you know, focused a lot on our PK. We got enough reps where we felt comfortable for first game, but not a ton. But um, just simple, find the open guy pass it, get guys to the net, and uh, we're getting a lot of guys to the net right now, and um, they're going in, so uh, just got to keep it going. Time now for who to watch, and uh, two men that are uh, play a big storyline in this hockey game, Matthew Kachuk and JT Miller. Let's focus on Miller for a second. He is making his season debut after missing the first three games of the year for the Vancouver Canucks due to COVID protocol. Joined the team for practice yesterday. He's in the lineup tonight along with Brock Besser and uh, Elias Pettersson in the lineup. As for Matthew Kachuk, well, of course, we know he was the leading scorer for the Flames last year. So, too, was Miller for the Canucks. Off to a good start again this year. A goal in each of his first two games leads all Flames shooters with 10 shots on net. Let's go right back to the Canucks, talk about their big lineup news. Miller comes back into the lineup. He led their team in scoring career high with 72, uh, 72 points last year, 27 of them uh, goals. Huge boost for the Canucks as they look to snap their two-game losing streak. Uh, we'll play JT a fair amount. Uh, he's in good shape, keeps himself in uh, top physical condition. So I'm not too worried about uh, how he'll feel. It'll, he'll probably have a little bit of rust. And, um, but he's going to play. He'll play a fair amount. through a couple of the important stats uh, need to know as we uh, look ahead now to the puck drop coming up in just a few moments but uh, hard not to talk about the former Canucks in your need to know Markstrom with 32 saves his first uh, shutout as a flame sixth of his career and then Chris Tanev eight block shots on Saturday ties a career high for him in one game of course he was fourth in the league in block shots a year ago and that Flames power play clicking at 44.4 percent to start the year obviously red hot Canucks have yet to score on their power play this season another storyline to watch uh, coming into this evening. All right, your starting goaltenders for this evening, uh, Jacob Markstrom, and instead of uh, Braden Holtby, who it was on Saturday night for the Vancouver Canucks, it'll be Thatcher Demko making his second start of the season. Uh, and of course, he uh, lost his second game of the season uh, the, for the Canucks in Edmonton against the Oilers. Gets another opportunity to get back in tonight. Markstrom off to a really good start. Uh, moved his goals against to under two. Save percentage, 939 after that 32 save shutout performance. Well, as mentioned, uh, it is um, also a very important evening here in the Scotiabank Saddledome and all across the National Hockey League, uh, for sure. As we know, it is uh, also the 60, 63 years uh, since the... Or, hang on, are we going to go to... Let's, uh, let's talk about this. So on this date, 63 years ago, January 18th, Willie O'Ree became the first black player to play in the NHL. Today, the Flames, all actually NHL teams, are proud to mark the anniversary. The helmet deco that you'll see there on both teams here tonight to uh, raise awareness. Uh, Black History Month uh, ends at the end of the month. Uh, they'll use that helmet deco until then. Uh, his legacy, his dedication to making hockey more inclusive, happy to celebrate that here this evening on Martin Luther King Day as well. All right, time now for the Calgary Flames Foundation Remax 5050. Of course, it's open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. every single Flames home game and away game. A pot of 161,000 and climbing here. Get your tickets until 10 p.m. tonight. We'll make that draw for game number three this evening and crown another winner of our 50-50 pot that you can play throughout the course of the season. All right, thanks for watching Flames TV Live, brought to you by Budweiser. It's time now for the hockey game. Flames and Canucks are coming up next. Enjoy the game, everyone.
what it was, they score! Paddy Wade scores! Here's Dubé, he scores! The row with a shot, scores! Dylan Homie scores! season. A mask must be worn at all times. Observe physical distancing guidelines of six feet where possible. Avoid all unrestricted areas of the building as per le level of access. 